Dr. Watson, would you kindly close the door behind you so that we can limit the price of your carelessness to merely hours of work rather than days? My apologies, Mr. Holmes. I found myself rather taken aback. <laughs> I saw tidy houses in war-torn Afghanistan. Are those my surgical needles? I ran out of tact and the matter required immediate attention. Was that my supper? Plainly not, for I was the one who ate it. Hmm, I set it aside for this evening. And for that, I am grateful. Is that my bed? Watson, since you've proven yourself a master of observation, might I ask you to apply your skills to a more pertinent question? Namely, the whereabouts of today's newspapers. They are the key to everything. The newsboy is usually reliable. Medically speaking, I often find that the key to everything is good sleep. In a bed. Your papers are here, on the table. Let us see what the postman brought today. Local gossip, all of it uninteresting. Another letter from Werner. They never reply, but they keep coming. Your order from Barnes Bookshop has arrived, Doctor. Barnes insists on delivering the books to our door, even though we could easily walk to his shop. That's good service. I don't see the Strand. Where is it? Pardon me? I am on the precipice of uncovering a pattern of crime across London spanning many months and involving many men. The missing paper cannot be a coincidence. That's preposterous. My dear fellow, life is infinitely stranger than anything which the mind of man can invent. Well, life used your newspaper to wipe its posterior, so after that unpleasant discovery this morning, I disposed of it. But in lieu of the Strand, perhaps I can deliver you something equally tantalizing. I have just returned from a patient of mine, Captain Stemwick, who... No, no, that will not do. Grab your coat, Dr. Watson. Let us hope nobody has collected the dustbin. The dustbin is yours for the digging, Mr. Holmes. Don't look at me. If you want the newspaper, you'll have to get your hands dirty. If you come across one of my drafts, please leave it in the bin. If I am honest, part of me will enjoy watching you rifle through rubbish. Seems only fair after what you did to our flat. You were mistaken, Dr. Watson. The paper was indeed dirtied, but not how you implied. It's potting soil. Cactus spine. 
If it gets in your skin, it's awfully tricky to remove, and when laced with poison, the perfect assassination tool. See, Watson? The conspiracy is real. Someone tried to poison me. Poison? You? That's madness. Get the strand. Get your copy of the strand here. Sorry, Mr. Holmes. I just sold my last paper. Blast. Then why are you still here? Boss pays by the hour. No sense in returning early. Any breaking news today? The dock accident. It's the talk of the town. Yes, yes. Besides the tribe on the front page, anything about burglaries? I'm not sure, sir. You're a bright child. I presume you see everything that goes on around here? Nothing gets past me, mister. Then tell me, did you notice anyone suspicious at my door this morning? Hmm. Like the man with your newspaper? Precisely. What do you know? I know the value of a shilling. Dr. Watson. Cool. Now I can take the day off. Did you see what he was up to? Nah, not really. I saw him approaching your house, but I had a customer. Then there's a loud bang. I ducked down. Not because I was scared, because I wasn't. I had to protect the merchandise, and all I could see was him kneeling at your door. Which way did he go? Not sure. I was distracted by customers. Sorry. Can you describe the man you saw? He was carrying a lot of books. Up to his chin, they were. Never heard of a well-read assassin. Looks can deceive. Hence the appeal of disguises. All right. You earned your shilling. That'll be all. Thanks, Mr. Holmes. Maybe I could be your eyes and ears, if you have more shillings. Come now, Mr. Holmes. Get Murder? The yes, Get your copy of the strand here. also has its scruples. Not every pawn knows its part. Copy of the strand here. Do you even have enemies that would want to kill you? Okay, perhaps from Cordona.
Mr. Barnes, a word. <gasps> oh, for goodness sake. Who, uh, who goes there? Sherlock Holmes. Now will you please... Mr. Holmes. Golly, I did not see you come in. Would you care to answer some questions for me? Well, I wish I could, but I am deep in the weeds with work. How about we uh, reschedule in a month or two? Come now, Mr. Barnes. It will only take a moment. No, really deep in the weeds with, uh, with important things. Well, help yourself to any book. Just take it a pay later. I trust you, Mr. Holmes. Barnes doesn't seem like himself. Why is he acting this way? You're asking the right questions, Doctor. Let's Barnes find has a always way been to a coax little odd, but this is uncharacteristic even for him. I could hardly imagine anything more macabre. <laughs> Basics of cryptoanalysis, cryptography in Egypt. It appears Barnes has an interesting hobby. So, Barnes has a dog now. Who's a good boy? The ladder is broken, recently, judging by the freshness of the wood. <laughs> the finest view London has to offer. language of Mycroft's secret agents, it's a sign. Dried flowers are replaced when the job is done. An improvised stand, but it does make the flowers more visible. We're looking for a cactus needle in a haystack. Hmm. A spine in a book stack. No, come on, Watson, think. I like bookshops. One of the few spots in London where you are shunned for making a racket. Uh, apologies, but I can't hear you. Please come back later. Do you know anything about this? I can't help you with that, sir. Is this familiar to you? It's a shame, but I can't help you. Hello there. What's your name? Lily. I know. Not very original. The weather is dreary, isn't it? To be fair, my flowers could use the rainfall. <laughs> Encouraging people to stop and smell the roses? Our national emblem. God save the Queen. It must take patience and care to produce a bloom so beautiful. I imagine so. I merely sell them. The pot is damaged. The blow was severe, but softened by something. <laughs> the pot is damaged. The blow was severe, but softened by something. A familiar spine. Is this what I found in my dustbin? Anything tickle your fancy, Mr. Holmes?
Mrs. Fleming, you look particularly lovely today. Is there a reason? Does a woman need a reason to look or feel beautiful? No, but your distant looks... Are... Who told you... Nobody. Merely a keen eye. Well, I'll kindly ask you to keep your... I don't know anything about this, sorry. I don't know anything about this, sorry. I'm afraid I can't help with that, Mr. Holmes. One of these things is not like the other. Come again? The cactus. Those fearsome spines can prove a devil to remove. And the sap is often toxic. And a rose thorn can give you tetanus, but we still grow them. The cactus seems comparatively harmless. Though you have me thinking it must be valuable. I was under the impression that you knew its price. Your guess is as good as mine. The first time I saw this cactus was when I came... I'm afraid I can't help with that, Mr. Holmes. I don't know anything about this, sorry. Are you sure you're asking the right person? I'm just a flower seller. What do you make of the flowers in Barnes' shop window? Well, they could use a bit of water. Do they mean anything to you? Mean anything how? I'm not sure I follow Mr. Holmes. Why do you think they're there? Are you suggesting the flowers are for me? It seems likely, does it not? Oh. I'm afraid I can't help with that, Mr. Holmes. I'm afraid I can't help with that, Mr. Holmes. I don't know anything about this, sorry. Are you familiar with Mr. Barnes? Yes. No, not really. Well, in a way. What on earth does that mean? I know who he is, of course. A look? Yes. Each morning I go for a walk in the park with my dog. And most... Actually, we once met briefly while our dogs played. He... I often see him staring through the shop window. Sometimes I wonder what he... Hmm. I, uh, think perhaps I have been chasing shadows. Do not despair, Mr. Holmes. Even the best of us make mistakes. 
We better tell Mr. Barnes what we've learned. Something warmer. Didn't you once tell me that answers usually lie in plain sight? Mr. Barnes, I know what you did. I'm sorry, Mr. Holmes. I... You ordered a cactus from the plant catalogue and then left it for Mrs. Fleming as a gift. You place flowers in the window to get her attention and wear high heels to appear taller and more desirable. You are her secret admirer. I couldn't read this morning's edition of the... St I know you dropped a cactus on it and then fled. Barnes, it's Dr. Watson. Rest assured, we are not interested in disclosing your personal affairs to anyone, including Mrs. Fleming. Please come out. Uh, all right, then. So, you know what happened, then? I was on my way back from the post. It was quite an awkward package. Heavy, too. And when I got to your door, I needed that paper to prove a theory and prevent a crime. Your actions, your clumsiness carrying the post, is matched only by the clumsiness of your romantic gesture. Oh, it's true. I am useless with this sort of thing. I'm not even sure if Mrs Fleming noticed. As in most things in life, truth is the answer. Cease with the obtruse signals and anonymous gifts, and simply talk to the woman. What is the worst that can happen? She rejects you, and you are freed from this endless purgatory. That... Yes, you are correct, of course. So, at last, we return to the matter of the paper. I'm an... I don't recall. You had an issue of this... Well, naturally. So you ought to be familiar with the concept of burying the... Le I... Oh, no. Uh, my apologies, Mr. Holmes. I'll make it up to you however I can. I... Yes, yes, OK. Come, Dr. Watson. Let us put this matter behind us. Farewell, Mr. Barnes. I hope to hear good news about you Let and Mrs. Let me know if Flynn. there's any way I can make it up to you. Tell you what. Tomorrow's edition of the... Sh well, that was an utter... An assassination? There was supposed to be another burglar. Hmm. Something you wish... No. Well, only that you have a remark. I see thing... Yes. It... So it seems. Forgive me. Which brings us back to my news from earlier. Truly? Indeed. The perhaps not as thrilling as your stories from court. I said I knew just the man to help. Oh, Watson. Yes, I know it's not the most tan- It's brilliant. Let's go. Oh, good. Well, his house is nearby. Come. <laughs>